Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Look, the never ending shenanigans of the clowns of Huntsville. Y'all, at this point, Martell got to be looking for attention because he left his ass wide open with this one. So I saw a clip of an episode from, you know, the upcoming season of Love and Marriage Huntsville. In that clip, y'all, Martell was saying how he's noticed that he's had bags under his eyes for a while. So he went to see a professional about it. And it's just like him and all the rest of the knocks, in my opinion, to try to fix the outside instead of the inside. Okay, the inside is what needs the most work. But here's what he said, y'all. Quite some time, you know, I've noticed that, you know, I've got little bags under my eyes and things like that. And so I want to go and get a facial and try to get a professional's opinion on what the route I should go. I love being touched. In that aspect of it, you know, a facial, a, a head massage, um, massages, period. I mean, I love that. I love when a woman touch my body. Let's go. So, of course, you know, they was eating his ass up in the comments, okay? One person's comment was so damn funny. She said, God took your youth, scoop ball, when you cheated with that gutter snipe from the worst city of Ohio. Your eyes will carry all the bags that coleslaw can't fit on the bus since you stopped stealing from mail to pay her car note. You and your day drunk mama and your nappy head baby mama will not rest until you sincerely apologize, scoop ball. That shit was cold motherfucking blooded, okay? But he set himself up for that. Like, first of all, we know you like to be touched. That's why your ass divorced and broke now. And we all know that he wanted people to see him getting a massage to prove that he can. Because Mel was on the show having one done. Y'all remember that? The only difference between the two is that Mel paid for her massage while Carlos either paid for Martel or Martel had to give the lady a coupon, Okay. Cause he don't look like a full price nigga to me. He either going to try to get a discount or run up out that bitch without paying. I bet he wouldn't get Fido cause his shoes probably give off smoke signals. Why he had his ass over there shaking a tail feather with Andy Cohan for his shot at a peach. He should have inquired about a spot on uh, in, uh criminal minds. I'm sure he would have fit in perfectly. He worried about bags being under his eyes. And it's like, did you not know that, you know, that's what happens when you spend your younger days being a hoe? You start to look like the shit that you out there doing. In his case, I guess he's, you know, starting to look like he eat ass, starting to look like he cheat on his wife. Still starting to look like he argue with bitches late in the midnight hour, starting to look like he can't spell, can't read. Starting to look like he can't pass the builder's license test. Starting to look like the liar that he is, a con. You know what I'm saying? Starting to look like he want his wife back but can't have her. Starting to look like a nigga who don't wear condoms. And I can go on, but I'm going to stop right there. <laughs> he going to be looking like an old ass man and living in a shoe with about 32 babies and won't know what to do. <laughs> I tell you. But I still say that, you know, he got about a million and one problems, all internal, but he worrying about bags up under his ass. I guess he want to look his best, though, when he model in the underwear that he's trying to bring out, in my opinion. That's another reason, in my opinion, that he's trying to act like he's just so cool with Mel, so people will support his new venture. You know what I'm saying? He did the same shit um, when he was getting ready to come out with that wine. In my opinion, he know damn well he was exa exaggerating about, you know, him and Mel, you know, trying to act like him and Mel was in a good place. They about in the same place that they've been. She didn't speak on it really in her live uh, yesterday, but when asked, she said that the co-parenting was like a roller coaster. I guess that meant that one day he act like he got some sense and the next he acting like he off his meds. In my opinion, my thing is co-parenting is only hard because he makes it hard. Why does he have an issue with anything when he's the reason for the season? Meaning he's the reason why the kids have to be left with a babysitter since he want to complain about how many babysitters may have for the kids. I feel like he just need to shut the fuck up and realize that the marriage is over because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. Mostly. That's what it's all about. He makes issues with co-parenting because for one, he's bitter. Okay. Still can't get over the fact that Mel left him. And for two, the kids are the only way that he can get Mel to communicate with him. And that's only because of a judge, but he'll take whatever communication he can get. Cause you know, he's fucking desperate for Mel's attention. Like move the fuck on. 
another nigga have it. Another nigga has her attention. You know what I'm saying? He ain't paying no child support. Probably ain't paying for any of their activities. Nothing. So why the fuck do he have a problem with anything? He want Mel, in my opinion, to go and sit down and stop being successful because she making him look bad because he's still in the same spot that he was in when she left his ass, which is nowhere. He want her to stop traveling, stop starting businesses, stop everything and just sit at home with the kids so he will be comfortable. Absolutely not. You be a loser all by your damn self. Now he's going to be mad at Mel because she didn't tell the people on her live that she was cool with him. And it really didn't dawn on me, y'all, uh, what Martel was trying to do as far as the kids. Uh, somebody mentioned this in the comments. Um, he did probably have intentions on having Knox film, which is why he kept pushing for the baby to be recognized as Mavericks. Maverick when, you know, his name is supposed to be Knox. Cause if he get him on, if he get the baby on TV and all of his other kids' names start with an M and Knox start with an N, you know, people who don't know the situation are gonna be asking questions like, "Where did that baby? You know, why is his name different? Because he comes from somebody else." Mel probably did peep what he was trying to do and shut that shit down. Plus, the kids filming would benefit Mel more than him, in my opinion. You know, he yeah, he get to act like father of the year when he ain't. But it benefits Mel more because, you know, um, she has them little businesses, okay? Um, they actually enjoy being with her. You know, they're not thrown in the back of a pickup truck like they're on their way to pick cotton. They're not coerced into saying terrible things about their trifling ass daddy. And they are not, um, you know, forced to walk in the cold without the proper attire, subjecting them to possible frost uh, bite or hypothermia. You know what I'm saying? When they with their mama, they look happy. When they with their daddy, they look like they about to walk the green mile, especially sugar mama, in my opinion. Co-parenting is, you know, all he has with Mel. So he going to ride that shit till the wheels fall off. He going to make an issue with everything, including the kind of cereal that they eat. Well, you know, that's not natural. Also, the Fruity Pebbles have too much sugar and things of that nature. I would straight the fuck up be in jail if that was my baby daddy. I would have a new mug shot every motherfucking seven days. I would be like a rabid ass bat on his ass every time he pulled the fuck up. Want to make somebody's life miserable because he wanted to be stupid. Wanted to be a stupid ass bastard and out there hoeing. Look where it's got him. I read somewhere that Carlos said that the people would be, I guess, shocked or taken aback or something like that to, you know as to what happens between Mel and Martel this season on the show I can't remember the exact word that you know was used but it was being made to you know seem like something is gonna happen between Mel and Martel I call it bullshit though and I feel like it's just to get the people to watch okay now a spat may have been recorded at Mariah's and Boss Baby skating party but I can't imagine anything else. I mean, we know that they didn't get back together. But anyway, y'all, let's move on to Stormy for a minute because I honestly don't have a lot of energy to give this blockhead ass bitch. Oh, where's Waldo looking ass bitch? Oh, ring around the rosy pocket full of animals in the backyard ass bitch. She would have been better, okay? Better off just staying the fuck off TV and social media and just running a petting zoo because we the people don't want to see this gumby looking ass troll i can't stand her y'all and she thinks she's doing something about getting online talking shit and that's exactly what it is you know what i'm saying your diary is meant for you to read not the world but she want to get online and just you know just it's just crazy wrote a whole goddamn book saying nothing didn't nobody tell you to go write a book and put it online because you just making things worse for yourself. She thinking she about to come on to Love and Marriage Huntsville and take over somebody else's show. But the gag is that this is probably her last season and she don't even know it. She talking about every year she have to build a mental fortress because of the hate that she get from the show. And it's like, bitch, first of all, what the fuck you mean people hating on you because of the show? And you got to build a mental fortress every year? Like, stop lying. Your problem started before you even got on the show. And you only been on there for what, like two seasons? And you talking about uh, ain't nobody about to run you up off social media this time. I say <sighs> they're about to not only run you up off of social media, but off the show. And possibly the fuck up out of Huntsville. 
she out here talking about, you know, it's her show. Like, what show did you take your ass down there and pitch to Carlos and own? And even if you did, it didn't make it to TV. How the fuck is it your show? Because you and your ignorant ass mama came on to the show talking shit to the real star of the show make it make sense you can't because nothing about your weird ass makes sense especially those funky ass dances you do on ig the one that you know the ones that don't nobody ask for you just doing and another thing that don't make sense would be hitting sound bowls for peace calling yourself seeking peace when you done brought your ass on the show disturbing the peace take a look around folks no longer want it uh, Wanda or Destiny on the show. That's why they're not going to be on there as much. And it's like, bitch, get ready for your demotion because it's coming, in my opinion. As soon as the season ends, you're going to get fired on your day off, in my opinion, because those fucking ratings going to drop. Okay? You a cocky ass bitch with no reason to be cocky. How are you going to be cockier than the one who started the damn show? You know what I'm saying? Bitch, you came onto the show talking shit came onto the show talking shit about how you was the most successful person on the show i did a video about that last year like bitch humble yourself with your f rated ass fucking business and you talking about people hate you don't nobody got time to be sitting up here hating you know hating you you know what i'm saying i feel like they're more disgusted just like i am thinking you about to come and take over girl get your kleenex the melometers are about to make your ass boohoo on up out of alabama okay and I'm not going to be mad at him because you talk too fucking much. For a person who can't handle the pressures of social media, you sure do talk a lot. Y'all, she keep talking about her journey and this and that. And it's like, girl, don't nobody give a fuck because of this I'm bigger and better than you ass attitude. Mel was in an interview, okay, yesterday. And the person from Bossip, I believe, was telling her about the description of the season's uh, episodes or whatever. And she said that she read that a male was taking a page out of Stormy's book when it came to marketing. And my thing is Stormy has been taking pages out of Mel's book, in my opinion. Okay. Stormy loves bragging about her business, but Mel been in the e-commerce business less time than, you know, she have and her shit selling like hotcakes. You know what I'm saying? And she don't have as many, com she don't, she probably don't have any complaints as opposed to Stormy. You know what I'm saying? Who I believe got an F rating down at the Better Business Bureau. Mel been getting on live, showing herself packing, uh, her, um, her, uh, making her packages, uh, giving discounts. Uh, then she, uh, you know, then here comes Stormy doing the same shit, talking about the pink print. And I'm like, don't you mean a green or black print? Because that's usually the color of mold. Mel had to have that lady run that shit back one time because it's like, what the fuck you mean she taking a page out of Stormy's book? Stormy need to be taking more pages out of Mel's book. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, this was... It, I just couldn't. This was me when I found out that they had given Stormy a spot on the show, but I realized her ass wasn't going to be on for long. <laughs> Stormy is beyond thirsty to be on the show. One would think that she didn't have shit else going on like Martell, but she keep talking about Canvas Beauty. You know what I'm saying? Like, bitch, why are you so thirsty to be on the show? So people can see how dumb you are, in my opinion? That's bad for business. I heard she paid like 200 k just to be on there, and I can believe it because she wants this show real bad. Like, the shit is crazy calling the show her show like girl you could never be the star of the show i see martell ain't the only one that's deranged in my opinion she gave me lifetime movie vibes as well i can definitely picture her running mail over okay and leaving her laid out in the middle of the street bleeding like a wounded coyote as she then goes to break into mail's house putting on her clothes walking around saying i'm the ep now fucking fruitcake then her and the rest of them, they try to act like they so bothered with YouTubers, but they all trying to become YouTubers now. What's up with that? She announced that she about to start her YouTube page called That's What's Up. Like, first of all, why are you trying to monetize off of broken ass English? You know what I'm saying? Are you really this millionaire that you want people to think you are? Or did you blow it all on drugs, animals, and LaBarrus barbecue? 
you know, she did say herself that she fell in love with drugs. And I don't give a fuck if it was just in a song or not. As a businesswoman, why would she even want that shit out there? But she going around trying to act like she better than somebody else. You're making a uh, show look bad, girl. You're making the show look bad. So you about to get sent on your way, in my opinion. Watch what I tell you. You and you're too old for the mess ass mama. And while Destiny's sitting up there liking and putting flames under everything that Stormy get the fuck online and say, she need to remember that Stormy is the same bitch that was laughing at her ass while, you know, when her store was doing bad. But Destiny, you know, she ain't got no sense either. In my opinion, she probably think that Stormy got some money and going to help her get to where she want to go. Y'all know how Destiny do. Click up with whomever she thinks she can use, in my opinion. And speaking of Destiny, Stormy had the nerve to say that she was a storyline. Stormy was saying that she herself was a storyline when she ain't doing shit but picking up where Destiny left off. Stormy want to act like she have a big issue with uh, Mill not speaking to her in four months, but... She's the same bitch who said that Mel was just her associate. So while she fixing her mouth to say that she's the storyline, it's looking like for her, Mel is. That girl is nuts. Fucking thirst bucket. I'm done talking about these clowns, y'all. But before I get out of here, I just want to say, remember to subscribe to my second channel, okay? Uh, Conversations with True T. I will put the link in my pinned comment underneath this video. All right. Also, if you haven't already, please follow me over on my Instagram page as well. I appreciate y'all. All right. Y'all take care. And I'll chat with y'all in the next one.